What's up, what's up? It's Dennis. What's going on, guys? It's Hovik. We're in the special pocket today of Studio City. We're south of the boulevard. What is this pocket called? We're in the Silver Triangle yeah. on Maxwellton. One of the, probably one of the best streets south of the boulevard in Studio City, Yeah. right? Uh, I mean, you see it, there's new constructions going up every single day over here. Very walkable, very beautiful, tranquil, tons of greenery. Yeah. We're between Ventura Boulevard and the Fryman Estates. So we're literally two and a half blocks away from Fryman, Fryman Park. We're a block and a half away, two blocks away from Ventura Boulevard and all the top great restaurants and bars. We're two blocks away from Carpenter Elementary, which is considered to be one of the best schools in the East Valley, right? I mean, all uh, the good and, spots are here. And we're in a flat pocket of Studio City that's south of Dubois, which is super, super rare. Probably one of the bigger uh, lots, lots that you're going to yeah, find in this go. area. I agree. 7,600 square feet, um, nice, beautiful house right behind us. Um, we're in construction now. Yeah, so we're in construction. This house is about 60 to 75 days away from completion. We have two structures on the property. We have the main dwelling and we have our guest house, ADU. Uh, the main house is what, a five bedroom? Five bedroom, uh, five and a half bathrooms. Bathrooms, uh, about close to 4,000 square feet. We have a beautiful, great room that, that centers formal dining room, family room, and a huge island that sits about eight to nine folks. We have our media room, right? Yeah, uh, nice open living space. Mm -hmm. You've got, what, four bedrooms upstairs? Four bedrooms, four bathrooms upstairs. Uh, one of the great parts that I love, we have 11 foot ceilings on a main level and we have 10 foot ceilings on the second level, which is super rare in new construction. Uh, we have a great floor plan that we want to show you. We have the whole first floor and primary suite done in beautiful uh, oak ceilings that is going to be stunning when it's complete. But we wanted to kind of give you a quick tour before it's done. And we're going to do one of these quick video tours when it's done, right? Yeah, to show you, to finish, show you finished product. So hope, let's do it. Let's lead the way. Let's do it. Garage. Of course, the porta potty will stay. <laughs> um, it is grandfathered in with the house, right? The little trench will maybe cover it when it's, when it's done, but. You got to take the alternate take route. Al alternate route. Sorry. All right, wow, look at this. We're in the final stage of the house where the floors are going to be going in in a couple of weeks after everything is done. I want to show you the layout. So the front entry has a really nice hallway with tall, nice high ceilings. Again, you know, Hovik is 5'2", I'm about 5'2 and a half. We're, and you can see how much height there's left here. Tons of space. Tons you can play space. basketball in there here if you want it. Uh, what's behind Hov is this beautiful built-in with LED lights. Uh, we have our media room or hangout room or playroom for the kids, all completely wired with you know, surround sound and speakers, beautiful mm. layout and you can kind of go in. Uh, this whole room is going to be painted this beautiful dark rich green all the way around. We've envisioned this room having a great cloud couch in the middle, great carpet, big screen on this wall. And again, it's a multi-purpose room, Hovig, right? So for yeah. clients that we have that need a playroom off the family room, this is a great room. For somebody who needs a second office in the house, it's a great office. For somebody who wants a true medium, this is quaint. It's just big enough to really you know, get intimate and really enjoy a nice drama or a nice hi-fi movie. Nice and cozy, you still have high ceilings. Yeah still have the wood on the ceiling and uh, you've got tons of natural light yep. if you want to use it for anything besides the movie theater. The, the, the windows will be blocked out with, with panels, uh, but of course they could be left open or shutters or anything else. Looking good. Um, let's take you guys into our, uh, into our great room. So to the right of our entry, we have our powder room. That's going to have a beautiful plaster all throughout with, More a, built full, huh? with a full marble sink. Uh, built-ins on the right, built-ins on the left. We have a great wood staircase with wow. these floating, uh, you know, two I love by the threes. Details. Yeah, the it details looks really nice. Of course, the brick will be painted white to kind of see, be seamless with the wall. And then we're in our great space. Uh, we have found that having our formal dining room where the cameraman is currently standing is really has been the key to a lot of our families that combine the living, dining, entertaining, and you know, eating and cooking in the one whole space together. Because a lot of times the formal dining room is separate from a house, is in a different space of the property, right? Yeah. And nobody ever uses it. Now, 
This is a homework table. This is a, a breakfast note table. This is an everyday table that you could actually use. And on top of it, you have a room that's probably 19, 20 feet across for your television with a beautiful oak and, uh, and paint grade cabinets on top. Um, our kitchen here, as you can see, we have a rolling island for one, two, three, four, five, six, and two on each side that you could actually fit through. We have you know, a side-by-side -side full uh, thermidor, appliances, all custom cabinetry, all self-closed and, and soft pool. Just great space. I, I, yeah. I love that it's super open. I love the windows that you have yeah. over here off from the dining space. Really makes it look picturesque. And you know the uh, built-ins that have uh, been put into the property, yeah. I mean, look fantastic. It's a lot of detail that goes into it. And you know, you're not gonna have a bare wall all of your family memorabilia, pictures, yeah. whatever it is you like to keep, tons of space that's been thoughtfully put throughout the house. I agree. Uh, the builder definitely knows what he's doing over what here. What do you hope? Uh, what do you think about these big sliders that open up to the whole backyard? Uh, you can't have a new construction without having these massive sliding doors. It really opens up the outside to the inside, and uh, you can have what, 100, 150, 200 people here yeah. without feeling cramped. You've got people in the dining space, living space, kitchen backyard, uh, I mean, and the ADU. I mean, there's so much space over there. You could, I mean, if it was me, I'd probably set up a massive big, big screen TV with yeah. another lounge back there, but you could do whatever you want. And uh, this really allows you to uh, get, you know, uh, get creative with whatever you want to do with your space. So a couple of great features in this home that I want to highlight for myself. We have this great sliding window off the kitchen that I'll, I'll jump back in here and you can see that I have a great serving window, you know, great slider window right to the backyard where you can entertain, you could serve, you could put, you know, push drinks, food, anything you want from here. Uh, we have the big sliders, we have a great pool, we have a nice cover patio on top, and of course, I mean, Hov, I'll let you cover this. I mean, most of our lot, how big are usual lots in Studio City? I mean, they're under 7,000, close 70, to 6, 7, 000, 65, 6, 000, 6, 600 square feet, which are most of them on north of the boulevard. Yeah. Right? And we got flat land, 7,600 yeah. square feet. The builder creatively tucked the pool away to the side. And I mean, there's tons of space to play here. Right, you, you have enough room to play soccer. You have enough room to throw a ball. You have enough room to, to enjoy the backyard, which is super rare uh, in this neighborhood. Because again, most of our clients, developers, will run a pool right in the middle and you have 10 feet to the pool, 10 feet behind. Yeah. And most of our clients are what? Our families, they're yeah. families. They have kids. They have, they want room. They want to have space to run around, and they can't. Here, you don't have that. You have the pool, you have the backyard, you have the good sized main house, and of course, you know, yeah. we're gonna have they're gonna have put a barbecue on in this corner, tuck it back in, so you still have ample space for. Uh, it's the most important thing for families. Yeah. You've got to have uh, you know grass to play in. And, uh, you know, without space to enjoy, you know, what's the point, right? And also something to mention is look at the privacy. You, you have full hedge behind you. Uh, developer told us that he's going to be covering more trees on this side on both ends. So you're going to be tucked in into your little domain here. You have speakers on both the guest house and on the main residence. You have a control four system, Hove. They're going to control the lights. They're going to control the speakers, music, the speakers. AC, you yeah, name the, it. You yeah. can hook up your shades to it. The whole you just got to press a button and everything is rolling. It's party time. Hope you show them the guest house, man. All right, guys. This is the guest house of all guest houses. It's pretty much a house on its own. Look how high these ceilings are. I mean, you have any idea how high these ceilings are, D? Uh, they're probably 15, 16. I mean, it, it, is, it already is huge. It feels so much bigger. Just the fact that you have these beautiful vaulted ceilings with wood accents. You've got a full kitchen over here to your left side, a dining space, and I mean, you can set a massive couch over here, big enough to entertain a full, you know, a full guest list, 10, 15 people, have its own AC, speakers up top, and you gotta put your bed somewhere, right? So you have your own bedroom, and bathroom tucked away over here. Show them the tile. Again, some people love it, some people hate it. I, I mean, personally, I love it. Look, it has, some, it has some character to it. It's not your basic white with a little bit of uh, black sparkles into it. Floor, floor to ceiling, uh, 
You know, black checkered. Black checkered, blue check, blue and white checkered all oh, the way actually, through. Oh, actually, the color is beautiful. Yeah, it's you're gonna not have just a, You're going to have an oak cabinetry uh -huh. on top here with great fixtures, great light fixtures all throughout. And then you have... Yeah, the high ceilings still throughout the property. And then you got some more wood paneling on this end. Huge built-ins, floor to ceiling. Tons of space for a king-size bed. And like we said earlier, I would have no problem sleeping in this guest house. As we mentioned before, I was giving praise about these cascading uh, rails. It looks beautiful. It's something different. I haven't really seen it. The wood tone opens it up. It's not something too dark. And, you know, I'm not going to get sick and tired of this. It just makes me feel kind of zen. Yeah. Just clean, minimum, minim, minim, what's the word? Minim, 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 Minimalist. Minim, 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 minimalistic. Yeah, I'm, listen, I'm Eastern European. It's a problem. But it's good. Go it's ahead. good. You did well. Yeah. It's fantastic. It's Flows right runner. up. Yeah, let's go. After you, buddy. No, after. Immigrants uh, go second. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm an immigrant as well. Oh, you're an immigrant too. There you go. <laughs> all right. Uh, so all you right. have great step up lights all the way through uh, to really light up the area while you're walking. You have this huge window. Beautiful window. Tons of natural light. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to have a light on in this thing. Our clients are planting a large tree opposite of this window to make sure there's privacy between both residences and obviously you still want to get that feeling of natural light coming into yeah. the to the second floor and you want to feel that airy good feeling of, of being upstairs there are four bedrooms up here yeah in a large laundry room we have a huge built-in in the middle here all four bedrooms have large closets uh, vaulted ceilings and uh, all private bathrooms in all of them so let's start with the back one all right to you See, so vaulted, high ceilings, just feels good. Nice, bright, open, airy. Still following throughout the whole house. We have built-ins, nice drawers coming in here. Huge doors. This bathroom has a really fun tile on the floor. Uh, we have a penny, penny round tile on the floor and this really pretty white oh, wow. long subway all the way through. So it really gives it a nice look. Here's the bottom of it. Uh, all the way through to the all back. All the way slash. through. So also pretty much four walls, three walls are tiled from ceiling to, to floor. Really special. Uh, Lincoln, Lincoln windows throughout the whole house, uh, which is special. They're wood on the outside, clad on the inside. Uh, this, this bedroom, this is the biggest bedroom in the house. Um, you have, again, another vaulted ceiling with great detail uh, around the beam. Wow, kids are gonna fight over this one for yeah. sure. Three south-facing windows and one west-facing window, so you have a lot of natural light in here. Yeah. I mean, we're standing in here with no lights at all, with windows being covered yeah. with tape. And, tape and you up. still have great light in here, right? Uh, this, is, this is one of my favorite bathrooms as well. Uh, developer put this, let's see how we could open this up for you guys. Uh, here we go, the front part of the construction. You have this hexagon tile on the floor with this really nice square white tile all the way through. It really has a nice, good feel. Great oak cabinet on the wall here and then also great wall built in all through the wall as well. Yeah. Tons of neutral colors used throughout the property. All right. We have the two linen uh, cubbies here. A nice area for the top. You will have your electrical, your charging station, storage for towels, linen, whatever you want. Just again, nice thing to see because a lot of our clients maximize every inch of upstairs yeah. and don't leave any room for, for something storage. as simple as storage. Which it's is, the most which, important thing. Yeah. Everyone overlooks storage, can never go wrong with too much storage. Same thing with the laundry rooms. Most, most of our developers, and we tell them all the time, laundry room is just something simple that checks up the box but a laundry room that actually has storage space, room, has a drain, has this great, nice, moody green tile. Nice character. Uh, and then they purchased, I believe, also a green tile all through the backsplash as well. This, this room is gonna really pop. Let's go take it to the primary. Let's check it out. I mean, as soon as you walk in, you can see how big and light and airy it is. But let's check out this closet. So primary closet, uh, there's gonna be a three by, th three by two or three by three island in the middle. All custom cabbies with LED lights all the way around. These, this back wall will have full mirror wall, mirror glass wall for, for storage and everything else. 
and then you have your shoe rack on both sides. So it's, it's really going to be a special place uh, to, uh, for somebody special. Uh, where Hovik is standing, where there's going to be a metal frame door to get out of this closet. Okay. Metal frame door with a metal door that's oh, going to be going in. So we're going we're gonna to hopefully advertise it as a nice safe room. Wow. You know, with double locks on both sides. Uh, if, if by any chance there's an emergency, which we know we live in LA and things do happen, yeah. a family gets to go <clears throat> in here that's air conditioned, that's, that has lights, lock themselves, and there won't be an easy way to get in here because it won't be just a simple wood door yeah. that's hiding it. If you're hiding you know, jewelry or anything else, this becomes more of a safe, a, yeah. a safe room, we want to call it. Obviously, you know, it'll have its own restrictions, but it'll have a metal frame and a metal door, and our clients that we've sold houses like this to, um, love them and appreciate having something that they feel a little safely as well. Yeah, cool. We've got some more built-ins. This is perfect for maybe a coffee setup or, you know, setting aside your bags when you get into your room. We actually have, uh, we've got another beautiful, massive room with uh, wood going all the way across the ceiling down to the back where your bed frame would be sitting. Tons of light that's coming in from the north end of uh, the property facing north this way huge space just enough space for you to hang out have your couch maybe have some sitting arrangements over here more built-ins to the side and uh, it looks great <laughs> do you know do you know what they're planning on doing with some of these built-ins uh yes i mean this this is a great old cabinet it's going to match the cabinet that's in the primary bathroom this whole wall is going to have a beautiful marble throughout. Same thing as downstairs. Um, you have LED lights on both ends. Again, both the ceilings with the oak beam. You have great paneling all around the wainscoting and the back wall with beautiful lights on both sides. And then in here, again, something that he's going outside of the box with, with tile. Uh, he's running this beautiful checkered brown and white square checkered floor. Oh, yeah. Uh, with a white with a white back wall for the shower and tub. Uh, we have a proper two vanity, uh, two vanity uh, sink, and then a makeup table on the side here with two drop down pendants. Uh, just, just a beautiful piece. And it's gonna have a waterfall of marble all the way through. So really nice. Massive, massive, I mean, shower, look at this. How many people can we fit in here? Oh. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I mean, look, if you're into that kind of stuff, you can fit a lot of people yeah, in here. Us, us the Europeans, yeah, we, we do like this kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, if, if you're into it, we don't judge and we accept. Yeah. Uh, this will be ready in about 60 to 90 days. So if you are looking to be south of the boulevard in Studio City, right? In, walking in the distance, best neighborhood. Best Silver Triangle. Silver Triangle, yeah. fantastic lot, massive yeah. house. I mean, it doesn't get this big yeah. in, in an area like this. Plus, I mean, you've got timeless taste put into the property. This isn't going to be something that's going to be outdated in two, three years. Yeah, um, yeah man. Simple, it's clean, it's, it's going to flow well. Uh, and I'm very proud of my client who's putting this together. He's making it very special. And it'll be a lucky Studio City family who's going to move into it, enjoy it to the fullest, and be able to either drive or walk to any place they want, whether it's Air One Cafe or Equinox Gym, or Trader Joe's, or anything else all within reach. Katsuya, you five, know. 10 minutes, five, you know. Yeah, your easy. favorite pizza spot, your ice yeah. cream joint, your yeah. school, I mean, you name it. Everything is here. This Alfred's, is why people want to be Alfred's here. Alfred's coffee, your hot yoga, your everything. Anything that you want is here in Studio City that you want to be part of is, is within, this, within these last little it's couple little of pocket. Blocks. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Thank you. Again, Dennis. Hovik. Uh, hope you enjoyed the tour and uh, thank you.